now we take the new chapter circle in a circle the distance from a fixed point to the circumference is always constant the distance is called the radius of the circle by this figure you can understand and this is a circle and this is the center of the circle this is the radius of the circle radius is always constant in a circle this is represented by small r the two times of the radius is equal to the diameter of the circle if we increase the radius r plus r is equal to 2r two times of radius 2r is equal to d diameter of the circle term now we need term related to the circle number 1 circumference is if we cut down this circle from here so it's make a straight line which length is equal to the 2 pi r where r is the radius of the circle and pi is a constant value the value of pi we can take 22 upon 7 and 3.14 according to the question second one is chord chord is a line which is not pass from the center if line is pass out to the center is called the diameter and other all other lines are called the chord of the circle p q the name of the chord is p q now we read second a line which intersect a circle in two distinct point is called a second of the circle this line cut the circle at a two point point r and s this line is called the second of the circle now we read about tangent a tangent is a line which touch the circle outer circumference this is the tangent of the circle and touch at the point of l this is the tangent the next point is circular reason a reason of circle is called the circular reason this area is called the circular reason it is equals to the pi r square unit square now we read about the concentric circle the two circle whose center is one is called the concentric circle this is the center of this circle and another circle in this is called the concentric circle this is the center of the two circle arc of a circle 
now we read arc of a circle the length of a to b is called the arc of a circle congruent arc two arc whose length is equal to each other is called the congruent arc p q arc p q is equal to arc ab is called the congruent arc PQ arc is equal to arc AB semicircle a half part of a circle is called the semicircle segment of a circle segment of a circle if we meet A and B to the center of a circle this part this area is called the segment of a circle oh this is a confusion segment of a circle is this is a segment of a circle it is a minor segment and it is a major segment this one is minor and this one is major sector of a circle a sector of a circle if we meet a point a and a point b at the origin of a circle o this is o this is a point a and b this part is called the sector of the circle now we read quadrant of a circle quadrant is a 1 by 4th part of a circle first half the circle half take the half part of the circle and uh, this is the 1 by 4th part of the circle it is called quadrant of a circle now we read about cyclic quadrilateral cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral which is make which vertices make between the circles this is a cyclic quadrilateral quadrilateral a b c d a quadrilateral a b c d is a set to be a cyclic if all its vertices lie on the circle all the vertices lie on the circle vertices a b c d the angle in a semicircle is a right angle always this is 90 degree the perpendicular from a center of a circle to a chord bisect the chord this is a perpendicular and this is a chord ab and point l o o l line bisect the al and lb so we can say al is equal to bl now equal chord of a circle are equidistant from the center chord pq r s chord pq is equal to the rs this uh, if the chord r equal so it is always equidistant from the center fourth point is there is one and only one circle passing through a three giving non collinear point 